Welcome back, my friends. Yes, I'm still at Gym Top, and today I'm with Brad Pitt. Well, maybe not Brad Pitt. I'm with Kakiyama-san. However, he might look like Brad Pitt, but I have a question for you. When I look here, I see Smart Cube. And yes, I might be a little square from time to time. I'm definitely not as clever as some people might think I'd be, but this is a Smart Cube. This is a Milturn, and this is a machine you want to learn more about. So Milturn operations are probably one of my favorite topics because we get to do darn near everything inside a machine right. within a space to do milling and turning and multiple operations on 10 and 20. I mean, it really does go on and on and on to mm. allow us to do more, but your machine in the mill turn world is even different from that when it comes mm. to space, when it right. comes to the big open area here, when it comes to the power of the BX's head and the size of the BX's head to get bigger parts in there. now. I hope I haven't stole all of your thunder, Brad Pitt. Right. <laughs> but we're trying to figure out some of the differences and educate people on mill turn. Mm. So let's talk about your machine, the Nakamori Tome. Okay, thank you. I'm not Brad Pitt, but uh, let me explain. I got okay. confused. I apologize. <laughs> I got confused. Thank you very much. So this is a JX200. It's a brand new machine, actually. Yeah. And uh, you see in the fast on the big windows, right? You can see all the machining area on the left to the right. Yeah, it's very easy to see. Then take a look. Not only the milling head, we have also the turret on the, on the downside. Then this lower turret have also Y axis. You know, you can do male squares, everything, even the lower. Then you see the stock. Lower side, lower turret can go left to the right, you know, very easy. That's also upper side. You can do left or right. Yeah, you can go easily to go. That's why you can reduce the very much cycle time because you cannot stop the machining. You can keep the machining yeah, for, all, for all the time that you can, get, you can get very short cycle time. I think about this and you, I know you can see the smoke coming out of my ears because I'm trying to mm. communicate how important it is for everyone to understand mm. just how much true multitasking can mm. be done inside of this machine mm. moving forward and backward in the mm. turn at the mirror head being right. able to go all right. directions. How do we convey the message to the folks out there who are doing traditional turning okay. and traditional milling, maybe yeah. on a three axis machine mm. and a regular turning machine with maybe one turret to go, this too is an option for you and it's not as difficult as you might think. How mm. can we help people understand this software, this machine is right. easier to run than you might think? Right. It's actually, you know, on the, on the machine side, we have a very easy programming system, like a conversation program already inside it. So, of course, we have a two, you know, upper meeting hat on the lower turret. You can go, you know, left or right, but all the, you know, basic program is already inside it. Just you can select the which kind of cutting you need, then you can create some program. That is very incredible, right? Last question I have for right. you before we wrap this up and you get back to your acting in the movies. Mm -hmm. I know Brad Pitt is very famous, <laughs> okay. so you got to get back to it again. Okay. <laughs> when it comes to something like this, I have yeah. a lot of conversations with shop floor folks, right? Mm -hmm. The people on the shop floor had the, the responsibility and oftentimes the stress mm -hmm. that they might crash a machine, oh. that they might run either the head or the turret into the part mm. and their boss will fire them. So they oftentimes take a step back from the potential and do more basic operations right. because they're afraid. Mm. Does this have crash detection? Does this help you understand everything that that part is going to have? Can you see the part being run on them? Are we removing that fear to allow people to understand how it's going to run? Yeah, actually in a dish machine, we have we call it an empty collision guard. So 3D, you know, collision system is already inside it. Then when machines movement, then before the machine move, movement actually, and the simulation also move. Then uh, recognize and maybe when the crashes happen, automatically stop. Then it's very safe. But not only that, this Nakamura, not only for the JX200, we call airbag system. What is the airbag? Airbag, when they have some crash or something happen, right, normally, you get hit, then you get damaged. Yeah. Right? Sure, right? <laughs> but all on a Kamura machine, that airbag function, once we detect it, very high current, automatically ball screw return to reduce the damage. That's why 
you can reduce oh, okay. you can reduce the damage right that's an airbag that's the standard of future for that machine that's in a great future all right i think all of my questions have been answered we know the ability of military machines to do those done in ones to take one part from a box put it into shipping we know what the turret can do from the bottom and we know the reliability precision multitasking and flexibility of the nakamura tomei machines themselves now it's your opportunity it's your choice to make that investment and have the courage to do more inside of your machine shop to step forward and say i can do this too but for now brad pitt and i we got other movies <laughs> to do so much. we'll see you later yeah see you <laughs> nice <laughs>